Hi, so today's topic is how to have a killer LinkedIn profile. First of all, why LinkedIn? We give resume and uh, there are hiring managers on Nokri, Monster, a lot of websites. But these days, every hiring manager and every HR is definitely checking your LinkedIn profile even before calling you for the interview. So it's high time you have your LinkedIn profile ready all the time. LinkedIn fact one, um, you should have a very good profile picture. So the profile picture is always underestimated and then some selfies, usual low risk pictures taken in the mobile can also be kept. But I think you have to be very careful in that. Your picture reflects who you are as the first impression on your LinkedIn profile. So spend some money and then take a professionally taken LinkedIn picture. It should reflect who you are. So in that case, have a smiling and a vibrant picture that will attract people or at least where people will take you seriously. LinkedIn fact number two is a cover picture. A lot of people even ignore what it is and some of them might not even know what it is. So instead of people looking at your whole profile, starting from above till your achievements and rewards, I think you should make people understand who you are right in the cover picture itself. Like if you are a writer, and you are also an engineer, right? Technolo uh, technical writing and uh, you are a marketer. What are your interests and you know, making videos could be one. All that can be kept as like four uh, words and you know, you don't, people don't have to read the entire thing to understand you. It gives them first glimpse about what you actually do. So with LinkedIn, um, there is something called about. This is a common problem also on resume and also on interviews where people ask you to tell about yourself. This is always a question, should I talk about my personal life, should I talk about my professional life, should I add these both and should I talk about everything that I like, so uh, what if it's going to look very diluted. So where in here you can be a little more focused but you can show your human side of it, you can say uh, I am your mother uh, who is also a professional into business analytics or a scrum master trying to discover this when I started my career. This is what happened. It could be just two paragraphs but at the same time reflecting what you are actually. I also suggest you not to lie too much about it but uh, you know they might get hold of you in the interview. LinkedIn fact 4 is the feature. So here you can add articles if you are featured somewhere or if you have written any articles about something on related to what you do or if you don't have anything at all, your resume can be featured here. So it's very easy for someone to go have an access on your resume and if that fits, they will directly call you. So also if you have websites, you can add it on the featured section. I see this mistake all the time on the experience section. They just say, I worked in Cognizant, I worked in Infosys, and then I moved to Wipro. Uh, intern engineer, software engineer, senior engineer. Okay, as two to two years, what were you doing in that project? Talk about the project, talk about the clients, what was your part in it? And Infosys is a huge company, which project did you work for? And what was their experience? Talk about your failures, talk about your success. Talk about pretty much all the details that you are okay to talk in public. That gives a lot of clarity. Most importantly, your written skills, how you are able to communicate what you have done is seen so easily on this experience section. And comes the recommendation section. A lot of people might not really have people writing it to them because you know nobody feels like all of a sudden in a blue moon, okay, let me just write a recommendation for someone. Right? You have to ask at times, especially when you are uh, so uh, young and very, very new to the field. I think getting one, two recommendations are good. Uh, I don't think you should really have some 15 people talking about you. It will obviously look very fake. So just have 
some recommendations from people who really mean so much in that industry maybe people who worked with you you think that they feel good about your work people like that definitely getting one to recommendation from them especially if they were your managers it's even better it's good to have you know when you start with linkedin or you when you're not so active on linkedin you might not have so many friends or connections on linkedin term, right you might not have so many people but you can go ahead and add people not that you know you can go at whoever you see and uh, who might not be relevant to your domain i think you should add very very right people that's very important to increase the engagement on linkedin let's say you're going to post something tomorrow these relevant people will only come and engage in your content only then you can grow on linkedin so it's very important you add relevant people for example if i am a product manager i will add product managers in india relevant products like let's say i am working for a payment product i can add people who are working at paytm um amazon pay uh, pay you raise a pay any of that sort so it is very relevant and if i am going to post only about payment they will be able to connect and engage with me engagement it's not like you create a profile and then ghost you have to create meaningful engagement mm, maybe you will not be able to write content blogs and posts like on day one how about you making meaningful uh, comments on other section or other posts and they adding a meaningful connection to you this way your network of the right people keep increasing day by day when i say meaningful content it's not just saying oh congratulation all the best you should add your perspective where if somebody is writing a note or somebody is writing a post about something where you have to add your perspective if their data is right or wrong or what is your perspective what did you think so many years back what was changed over here and it could be right or wrong i mean you don't have to be picking a fight every time but at least having a meaningful content before you click on this post button make sure you understand that at least one or two people are getting some sense from this content or something that they will learn new otherwise congratulations and all the best are pretty boring but that you can actually do a lot of things on linkedin if you want me to talk about sales navigator and about leads and everything i am happy to do a video for which you have to comment below also other topics that you think will make more sense especially in the lockdown time and the 2020 on technology in the office space and life if you think i can make a video on something of that sort please comment below till then have a great time bye bye